Hey guys, it's me, Sophie, and it's story time. I'm really sorry we had some technical difficulties this morning, and so I'm just getting started right now, and I don't even know if any of you are going to be able to see this or come and see it, but anyway, I'm here now, and I'm sorry that I'm 10 minutes late, but this is all part of the learning curve, you guys. This is not in my wheelhouse. This isn't something I do. I'm a child's entertainer. I do birthday parties and I spend time with children doing arts and crafts. And for me to handle all of this kind of Facebook Live stuff is really out of my wheelhouse. But I'm trying because I want to share what I can do. And one of the things that I do do is I tell stories and I do songs. So I'm sorry that these aren't perfect, but you know what? This is all part of the new world and learning how to deal with things. So here we go, guys. We're going to start all over from the beginning. I apologize for the technical difficulties, but let's say hello. And let's just, you know what? We're going to shake it off and we are going to go. You ready? Let's say hello. I think, hey. Gabby and Isabella are here, and Rosanna. Hi, guys. And I think uh, I think I've got Frida and Alexis are here. Oh, it shall be great. Sorry about the technical difficulties, guys. Here we go. Let's get started. Let's have fun, shall we? Let's wave hello. Hello. How are you all? Hello. How are you all? Hello. How are you? I'm just fine today. Hi, JC. Hi, Delilah. All right, let's bounce up and down, shall we? Bounce up and down. One, two, three, and bounce up and down. Along with me, and bounce up and down. One, two, three. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, so today we're going to be talking all about fish, if you can believe it. So who can make a fishy noise? Can you go? Make a fishy noise. And make a fishy noise. And make a fishy noise. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, now, who can make a funny face? You know, this is my favorite one. Make a funny face. Now, a funny as you can. Make a funny face. And funny as you can. Make a funny face. And funny as you can. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, let's wave hello. Hello, how are you all? Hello, how are you all? Hello, how are you? I'm just fine today. Well, guys, as I said, today is Fishy Day, and we are going to be doing some fun stories about fish. And the first story I want to read you is called Big Al. Now, this is a funny book for me because my dad's name is Al and we used to call him Big Al. But as you can see, Big Al is not the most attractive of fish. And my dad does not really want to be associated with an ugly fish. So he gave the book back to me after I gave it to him as a present. Big Al by Andrew Clements and Yoshi. Big Al. Ooh, look at that ocean. Doesn't that look pretty? I want to just jump right on in. Big Al by Andrew Clement and Yoshi. In the wide blue sea, there was a very friendly fish named Big Al. You could not find a nicer fish. But Big Al was also very very scary. Other fish seemed to have at least one friend. Some had many, but Big Al had none. He did not really blame the other fish. How could he expect little fish to trust a great big fish with big eyes and skin and teeth like his? So Big Al was lonely, and he cried big salty tears into the big salty sea. Mm. Big Al really wanted friends, and so he worked at it. First, he tried wrapping himself up in seaweed. He thought it was a great disguise, but no one else did. Who wants to stop and talk to a floating 
plant with big teeth. It's kind of like lettuce with teeth. Who wants a salad with teeth, huh? Then he thought if he puffed himself up big and round, the other fish would laugh and see how clever and silly he could be. But all they saw was how, how big he could be. Mmm, that's pretty gigantic. Very early one morning, Big Al went down to the bottom and he flopped and he wiggled and he wriggled himself into the sand until he was almost covered up. He looked much smaller. And when the other fish came near, Big Al talked and joked with them and had a delightful time. But then one scratchy, gritty little piece of sand got stuck in his gills and he... He, he, he sneezed. And when the clouds of sand cleared away, all the other fish were gone. Poor Big Al. Big Al even changed his color one day so that he could look like he belonged to a school of tiny little fish passing by. He bubbled along with them for a while, laughing and feeling like he was one of the crowd. But he was so big and so clumsy that when all the tiny fish darted to the left and then quickly back to the right, Big Al just plowed straight ahead. He went bumping and thumping right into the little fish. And before he could even say, excuse me, they were gone, and he was all alone again, sadder than ever. Oh, poor Big Al. Just when Big Al was starting to be sure that he would never get a single friend, something happened. He was floating along sadly and watching some of the smaller fish and was wishing that they would come closer. As he watched, a net dropped down silently from above and in an instant they were caught. <gasps> Look at all those fish. Big Al forgot all about being lonely and he forgot all about being sad. His eyes bulged out bigger and rounder than ever and with a mighty flip of his tail he opened his mouth and charged straight at that net. The net was strong but Big Al was stronger and he ripped through it and all the little fish rushed out through the hole. See, those big teeth did come in handy, didn't they? But when Big Al tried to turn around and go out, he got stuck and tangled up in the net. He was stuck. The net went higher and higher towards the bright surface of the sea, and the little fish watched Big Al as he disappeared above them. When the little fish were able to speak again, all of them talked about the huge, wonderful fish that had saved them, and how great it was to be free, but what a shame that the big fella had been caught. Look, there's the little fish. Oh, and there's Big Al caught in the net. Just then, there was a tremendous crashing splash from up above, and the small fish dashed away. Was it the net again? Not at all. It was Big Al. Those fishermen took one look at him, and they threw him right back into the ocean. <laughs> and now, there's one huge, puffy, scary, fierce-looking fish in the sea who has more friends than anyone else. Big Al. And there he is. He's looking pretty happy. He did some really amazing things, didn't he, Mr. Al? Big Al did a lot of stuff. And he ended up with a lot of friends, too, just like he should, because he worked really, really hard. Well, I thought it would be fun to do a song called Baby Beluga. Now, I have not sung this song in years and years and years and years and years, but it's uh, sung by a fella named Raffi. And so if you like the song, you might want to check him out on iTunes or Apple Tunes or whatever, Apple Music or whatever it is you might have, because he's a great, great singer, especially for kids. This is called Baby Beluga. Well, Baby Beluga in the deep. 
swim so wild and you swim so free Heaven above and the sea below And the little white whale on the go Baby beluga, oh baby beluga Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you so happy? Way down yonder where the dolphins play Where you swim and you glide all day Waves go in, waves go out See the water coming out of your spout Baby beluga, oh baby beluga Sing your little song, sing for everyone We like to see you When it's dark, home and bed Snuggle up in your water bed The moon is shining, the stars are out Good night, blues, good night Baby beluga, oh Sun, another day's begun. You'll soon be waking, baby. Look in the deep blue sea. You swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above, sea below, and a little white whale on the go. A little white whale on the go. You're just a little white whale on the go. There's our little baby beluga. Belugas are so cute. They're these little tiny whales, and they have big kind of mushy heads. They're really cute. So baby beluga is my dear friend. And if you want to check him out on Rafi, he does a beautiful job of singing that song. Well, the next story I want to read you is called Swimmy, and this is by Leo Leone. And Leo Leone is one that we read uh, earlier. He had a book called The Extraordinary Egg. So this is Leo Leone's Swimmy. Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy school of little fish lived in the corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was black. He was black as a mussel shell, and he swam faster than his brothers and sisters, and his name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared and lonely and very sad. Poor Swimmy. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw Medusa made of rainbow jelly. and a lobster who walked like a water-moving machine. <gasps> Look at that lobster. And strange fish pulled by invisible threads. And a forest of seaweed grown from sugar candy rocks. And an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and see and play, he said happily. Oh, we can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. Oh, but you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought, and then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together 
each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water in the midday sun, and they chased all the big fish away. Woo! So see that? Even if you're little, you can still be big. All you gotta do is work together. Let's see. I think it's time to do a song where we can get up, jump around. This is called the Rubber Blubber Whale. Now, anytime that I say rubber or blubber or rubber blubber whale, I want you to jump up and down. Think you can do that? Okay, here's how the song goes. It goes like this. Well, my daddy bought me a rubber blubber whale. Daddy bought me a rubber blubber whale. How I love my rubber blubber rubber blubber rubber Anytime you hear rubber, blubber, or rubber, blubber, well, go ahead and jump up and down. Here we go. My sister wanted my rubber, blubber, well. My sister wanted my rubber, blubber, well. Well, you know I really love her, but she cannot have my rubber, blubber, rubber, blubber, rubber, well, blubber, well. She can't have my rubber, blubber, well. So Mama bought her a rubber, blubber, well. Mama bought her a rubber, blubber, well. Now she loves her rubber, blubber, rubber, blubber, rubber, 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 iTunes or Apple Music, she's amazing. So her name is Nancy Cassidy. So many great talented people out there. All right, let's read The Rainbow Fish. This is by Mark Fister. And actually, Mark must be um, different uh, from a different country than us because this has been translated by J. Allison James. And it is called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fister. Translated by J. Allison James. The Rainbow Fish. I don't know if you can see, but he is very sparkly. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. Can you see those sparkle? Aren't those beautiful? The other fish were amazed by his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. The rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your scales. They're so wonderful and, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all of his friends what had happened, and from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by.
Now what good were dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? Well, I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef into a deep cave, you will find a wise octopus and maybe she can help you. I think they say starfish are supposed to be very, 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 very smart. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very, very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in the glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Look at those two eyes. Mm. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt a light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just, I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. <sighs> Only one very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. <gasps> thank you! Oh, thank you very much! The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the tiny scale in among his blue ones. <gasps> a rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with the new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish, everyone wanting a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. And when the water around him was filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home in the ocean. Finally, Rainbow Fish had only one scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And that's the story of the rainbow fish. If you remember in the beginning, he had lots of scales. But at the end, he only has one, but he's a much happier fish. I think that's a pretty interesting story, isn't it? And that maybe the more we give, the more we get. It's a pretty good thing to think about, isn't it? Well, guys, it's time to go. And again, I apologize for the technical difficulties in the beginning. Hopefully, I'll have that all figured out for tomorrow. But come back tomorrow, and I'll have three more stories and two more new songs for you. So let's wave goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, goodbye to Okay, everybody, cross your arms over onto your shoulders so you make an X in front of you and squeeze really tight with your eyes closed because that's me giving you a hug. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you soon.